I was going to skip this for at least this week, maybe next week as well, out of respect for George Floyd, for his family, for what's happening in America right now, for the black community, not just in America, but worldwide, who are struggling. <sighs> struggling for their right not to be murdered in the street. Let's be honest about it. Um, but I saw my black friend Piper, who is also on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. Um, uh, can't shake the YouTuber, can you? Um, I saw her posting about needing an escape, about needing something to focus on just for a few minutes that was not that. And... My role in the world, as I see it, is mostly as a storyteller. And here in Ireland, the function of a storyteller is to shorten the night. That's how we phrase it. Because, uh, you know, it's a long night. You tell some stories, you get some entertainment. It doesn't feel as long. And let's be entirely honest, 2020 has just been one, one long fucking night so far. So, let's shorten it. So this book, it is filled with all of the things you'd expect from bardic poetry. There's accounts of great battles and jealousy and heartbreak. But I don't think that's the kind of thing we need more of right now. I think right now we need more of the wholesome poems, the, the, the kind, the gentle, the kind of sweet poems. And so this one is called The Brown Cloak. And it is written by a bard who is having to give up his old brown cloak. A piece of clothing he loves dearly and has had for years and that he's going to miss. Are you my acquaintance, brown cloak? I have had you as long as you have been known. It is time for me, though. It is an omen of sorrow to put you away, O oh cloak of mine. Until you grew bare under my hands, about the edges, old comrade. Many is the meeting in which we clasped hands. I paid a visit with you beside the barrow. The greater after you is my depression, and in the eastern land upon every green I would be. Another day I went with you among the assemblies of Ossery, brown cloak of silken hue. Ah, your renown was famous. So old you are, brown cloak. If hardship should compel me to take you out into the land, I am wont to hide you from young women. It is time for me to part from you. Your lower half is all but bare. Few kingdoms escape unshaken. I have worn out your upper part altogether. It is complete bareness, O oh brown cloak, that has sundered our friendship tonight. I pity you. I have not left a hair upon you. You are the standard I loved best in North Leinster. You were first served at every banquet that was part of your honour, my cloak. And that was the brown cloak. About a bard who just very, very sad to have to stop wearing his favourite comfiest piece of clothing. And I think that's something everyone can relate to, especially coming out of childhood. We've all had some piece of clothing that was our favourite and that we wore everywhere and didn't ever want to take off, but in the end we had to get rid of it.
This is one hell of a year. We're all doing our best to hold on. I hope you all hold on as best you can. <laughs>